Hey guys, it's Melissa. We are doing something a little bit different today. I am doing this Facebook Live through Silhouette Studio so that you can see my Silhouette Studio design um, area and I can hopefully walk you through how to do this. It's not always easy on Facebook Live to do in software um, tutorials, so we're going to try something a little different today. Um, I'm going to end up disappearing once I start clicking around. I literally have no idea if anyone can even see or hear this. So let's just hope it's working correctly. Um, and I certainly can't see any comments. So, oh, it looks like you guys can see because I can see someone saying, hello, hello, hello. Okay, so what we are going to do today is talk all about mock-ups. I really can't talk about mock-ups without being in studio. So that's why we're doing this today. So um, like I said, I'm going to end up disappearing here in a minute and we will work through this tutorial. So I'm going to show you why I think it's so important for everyone, whether you are selling or not selling, um, to use mock-ups. Okay. All right. So what we are going to do is use a couple of mockups um, that I have on my uh, that I have downloaded. Now, both of these mockups that I'm using, I'm not sure if you can see my screen. Um, they are all from the um, a two bundles, which I've linked to. Okay. So one is a total mockup bundle, and the other is a farmhouse design bundle. So we're going to combine the two so you can create some designs. Okay. Now, the first thing that we want to do when creating a mockup is we want to bring in um, our mockup itself. So I have downloaded. Um, the mock-up bundle, you can see it's come in here and it's come as a zip file. Things typically will download as a zip file, SVGs and whatnot, because um, there are multiple items inside of there and that's the way that you can get them, all right? So I have now unzipped it, which is simply done by clicking. If you have a series of um, more zip files inside there, you can unzip those as well. There are ways to bulk unzip. So let's just say I did a couple of these at the same time. I'm going to click command and down and at all at the same time they will all unzip okay you're getting like a tutorial within a tutorial here because this is not really what I planned on showing you but um, anyway so now all of those that I had selected are unzipped and you can just expand the folder and there is your file okay all right so let me go back to the one that I know that I'm going to use which I believe is right in here and I am going to use this one called the wine bottle bag, okay? So this right here is a JPEG. Um, when you are talking about mock-up photos, um, you will not be receiving the SVG. You will be receiving a JPEG or a PNG. These are high resolution photos. And if you go over here, you can see that this is a large um, photo. 5.3 megs is a big high res photo. So when I drag and drop this into Silhouette Studio, it's gonna come in really large. Um, and that's what we want for right now, okay? Um, you can see this is my 12 by 12 mat, and this is how large this photo is, 79 inches, almost 80 inches. So we don't need it that big, um, but I do like to keep them relatively big while I'm working on them. Of course, the other option is literally to just zoom in. Now, what you also want to do is then bring the design into the same work area. So you can do that a couple of different ways. You can find the design on your um, desktop or on your hard drive as well and drag and drop that one in, which is what I'm going to do. I'm using this We Wish You a Merry Christmas design. And when I open that, I have all of these different file types. I'm going to use the SVG. Um, if you don't have... Um, designer edition so you can't import SVG you can use the DXF I'll just use that one actually to show you um, what that would look like if you brought that in okay it's gonna take it's taking a second for it to open but it'll open um, and we'll be able to use that one as well let's just hold off on that while it opens um, if you don't have designer edition you can use DXF JPEG um, or PNG, okay? I'm gonna actually bring both in so you can see. I'm also gonna use the SVG. So when I import the SVG, it comes in in color. A DXF does not come in in color and it comes in all ungrouped. So you will wanna, un you will wanna um, you know, regroup that. Okay, so now what we have is we have our cut file and we have our mock-up photo um, and we are going to simply layer them on top of each other. And we wanna make this as realistic as possible. Now, the purpose here and why I say that everybody should use mock-ups is let's say I'm just making this for myself and I can't decide what color um, heat transfer vinyl I want to use 
All right, so this is going to give me an idea of what it would look like if I used all these different color heat transfer vinyl. I'm, I'm not sure that I'm up for that. So instead, I can go and in, I can change the color. So I need to just move this over a little bit so I can open my color picker. Um, and in this case, I'm going to say, what does it look like if I just use black? I have black HTV, what does that look like? So I'm now able to zoom in a bit. Now, the one thing that I like to do when using mock-ups um, is I want to not have them at 100% transparency or 0% transparency. I want to have it usually between 9 and 12 makes it look a little bit more realistic. So on your fill panel, you can take the bar and just kind of move it a bit. Make sure you have your design selected um, and you can see what's happening, hopefully. Yeah, so see how it's becoming more transparent. Okay, so I actually, I'm just gonna type it in here. Let's see what it looks like if I put it on 12. It kind of grays it just slightly, all right? And that will allow you to um, make it look a little bit more realistic, not so stark, okay? And the more that you go down, the, you know, the more you'll be able to see the grain of that burlap through, all right? Now, let's say I'm like, you know what? I actually have some red or maroon. I wonder what that would look like. Well, you can go and pick it as well if you know um, the color code the uh, Pantone code you can type it in here as well and get the exact color of your vinyl or heat transfer vinyl okay I have tutorials on that as well so in this case I'm just gonna use black um, and then this will give me a really good idea of do I like it the sizing and everything like that okay so I think that I want to make it a little bit bigger now Okay, so now let's say that you are using this beyond just for your own sake to know beyond, you know, um, do I like what color I'm picking? Let's say you want to use this because both this file and the commercial use, uh, excuse me, and the mock-up are commercial use. You're going to use this to put on your website, okay, or to put on your um, Instagram or to put on your Facebook page or in your Etsy shop so that you can tell people that you are offering this. You can now use this as a product photo or let's just say you want to send it to a customer and say, you know what, I can do this. I have it in black or here's an alternative. I also have it in maroon. Let me know which one you like best, black or maroon, and uh, then I will make it, you know, that for you. However, there's so much white space around here that my suggestion is to reduce that. So the easiest way to do that is to actually click on your um, the photo itself, okay? And it's not clicking for right for some reason. I think it's just a little bit too large. I'm going to try to, I think my computer's working extra hard here between the Facebook Live and Silhouette Studio and the extra large photo. Okay, so we're going to zoom in a bit. And I'm showing you this using that SVG, but literally the exact same thing could be happening if I if I had, you know, used this DXF over here that I have off to the side. Okay, you can fill that with color too and change the line color to match. Okay, this one needs to have, make it a compound path so you can see um, that it looks exactly the same. Okay, but then you have... You can see it's the same. I'm going to delete that so I just have a less in the in the area. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to work. See how it's separated? I'm going to work to reduce this white space. So if I double click on my photo to get the edit points, I'm now going to select the one corner and then the um, opposite corner. And I now have these two corners um, selected and I'm holding it down shift and pressing my right arrow key okay and what this is doing is it's just pulling in and reducing that white space and I do this on all sides because remember when you are selling something you're not selling the background okay that background is helping you sell it's giving you um, and your customers um, a really nice you know um, aesthetically pleasing image however you want the focus to be on the item whether that you're selling whether that's this cut file if you're a you know digital designer and or if you are selling the actual um wine bag okay so i like to really focus on this okay and you can even pull it in on, from the bottom as well if you want now 
what do you do with this now? You can screen grab this by, I'm on a Mac, so Command Shift 4, and this will allow me to screen grab this. This is only really, I would only really recommend that option if you do not have Business Edition. However, if you're gonna be using this on your Etsy shop or whatever, to show this to a customer, please just do yourself a favor and, and get um, Business Edition because what Business Edition allows you to do is select the design itself, the whole thing, so I've got both selected. And then I can go up here and I can do File, Save Selection, Save to Hard Drive, and this is going to allow me to save this design um, as a JPEG, a PNG, or a PDF, or even an SVG. In this case, I'm gonna save it as a JPEG. I'm going to call it Christmas wine bag, okay? And it's going to save to my desktop, all right? I can adjust it. I'm going to adjust this to 300 DPI, okay? And now when I go to my finder on my desktop, I now, what you'll see that I have here is, in a second, Christmas wine bag. This is my JPEG that I just saved out. Okay, and there is my image. So now I can take this image and I can put this image on, um, I can put this image on my Facebook page, I can put this image on my Instagram, I can do all kinds of things and I haven't actually had to make this design. Now here is my number one warning, I'm staring at all of you directly in the eyeballs. Do not make mock-ups of items that you don't know if you can make the actual item. It's wonderful that you can make the mock-up, but more importantly, you need to be able to make the actual item too. So once you know you can make this burlap bag with this beautiful um, design on it, and now you know, you know what, I, I've you know tested this, I've done it you know three times, I don't want to make the actual bag in black and red and green and multicolor. Now that's where you make the mock-up, okay? So I can't stress that enough. Please don't make mock-ups of items that you don't actually know how to make the actual item, okay? All right, so um, again, this mock-up photo is, um, the mock-up photo itself is from the fall and winter mock-up bundle, which ends tonight on SoFancy. There's 16 um, high-resolution professional mock-ups that you can get. They're all for commercial use. So you can use those in items that you are selling or promoting or whatever. The the image, the design itself is from the Christmas Farmhouse Bundle, which I have also linked. That one's available for the next couple of weeks. Um, it includes, I don't close to 200 designs. So um, if you want either of them, I've linked to them, but now that you know how to use these things together, I would encourage you to do that. I get questions all the time. How did you make that? And it's like, actually, <laughs> it's a mock-up. Um, so that is the trick to mock-ups, and I really would encourage you guys to get familiar with how to do them. Um, again, you don't need any special upgrade on your software in order to make mock-ups, but if you want to export them um, you know, in a really nice because uh, I can show you the side-by-side -side of the, uh, let's see. I can show you the side-by-side -side of the screenshot. Let's see where it is here. So this is the screenshot that I took um, in studio, and this is the export, save export. So you can see the difference. All right, this is a little fuzzy because it's the screenshot. This is the actual export as a JPEG um, from Silhouette Studio, okay? All right, you guys, I hope you have a wonderful day, um, and I hope this worked. And if you're commenting, I will come back and um, figure out how to respond because I literally, I'm, I literally hope I didn't just do this just for myself, okay? <laughs> All right, you guys, have a good one. I'll see you soon. How do I stop this?